Morning, Andrew. Let's bring in Michael Loescheller, who is the CEO of Nikola, joining us this morning from Germany. Michael, I know you've been over there, a number of uh, truck shows where uh, you've been able to show off the Nikola tray, as well as uh, the future of Nikola as you see it. Uh, give me some perspective in terms of what you think can, uh, investors are looking at when they look at the electric semi-market and whether or not we are going to see the, the level of demand that you and, frankly, others who are building electric semis believe is out there. Yeah, good morning, Phil, and thanks for having me on, on your show. So, first of all, um, lots of progress this year on the Nikola side. We started production of our tray bath already in March of this year, and now we are in the market. I mean, we delivered at the end of the third quarter 111 trucks, and we see a lot of interest from the customers here in Europe, but also in, in North America. So, I mean, we are on a very good path, and obviously now it's all about execution, right? And that's why very, we are very confident that we have the BEV truck in the market already this year. And next year, we bring the hydrogen truck in the second half of 2023. And of course, that's an important addition to our portfolio. So we feel very good about the zero emission mobility, and interest of customers is increasing on a daily basis. But of course, customers want to experience the truck. Michael, you're talking about the interest that's out there, and there's nobody who's debating that within the overall transportation ecosystem as far as electric and potentially hydrogen fuel cell semis. But we just showed a chart of Nikola since its IPO, and we know about the issues with uh, Trevor Milton. But separate from that, this stock is down. How do you convince investors this is going to pay off? This is not a stock that is going to go down to zero. It's all about the execution. It's all about the execution in terms of showing the trucks, making sure the trucks are coming to the customer, and then obviously also providing the infrastructure and the energy. So we always talk about the chicken and the egg, but bringing these things together, I think then we will convince investors, we will convince the market. But this year, and in particular also next year when we bring the fuel cell truck, it's all about the execution. And we make a lot of progress. We have now inventory at dealers, I mean, you can test drive the trucks, you can experience it. So I think we make a lot of good progress in terms of production deliveries. And now it's important that obviously we deliver those trucks to the end customers. But you haven't given guidance for next year. And a lot of people are wondering if you're going to need to raise capital. Can you tell investors right now, Nikola will not need to raise capital? Obviously, liquidity is important, and we always consistently said we will make sure that we have between $700 and $800 million worth of liquidity. And that's what we will also achieve at the end of this year, and that we always have enough cash for the next 12 months. Obviously, while we are making so much progress on the production side, on the delivery side, we are able to reduce cost, improve efficiency, and that obviously helps us a lot going into to next year. But we will make sure we have enough liquidity and make sure that our margins are improving because obviously we, we are just at the beginning. We are scaling the business. So the first trucks are obviously more exp uh, expensive. This will dramatically improve going forward. Michael, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure I understand the answer. Does that mean, yes, you will raise more funds if needed to get to that liquidity level that you think is so important? Yes, we will. Because for, for the next couple of quarters, we will need liquidity and obviously make sure that we achieve this level of funding I was talking about, the seven or 800 million US dollars. But of course, we are making a lot of improvements of the business. Volume goes up, costs are coming down, and we're absolutely on the right path here.